So first, what you want to do to start out as a jungler is, um, there are a few combos you can do, but the main thing you always need to do is have Boomba's Mask. It is the number one starting jungle item that you will ever get, because it is so important to have. Uh, second thing is, you can do a number of things. You can do either Watcher's Gift, you could do Bluestone Pendant, which I prefer, and... At this point, you have spent 1,300 gold, so I usually get two of each potion. And that's your start right there. Um, Relic depends on you. On Loki, I like to get a Sunder to start out, just because I enjoy it. Um, but obviously this is normal. So, the actual start in jungle is really, I, I say interesting, um, it's changed a lot from Season 3. For one, the camps start at 30 now. Um, the time that the game starts and the camps spawn is shorter, so you have to move a little bit faster, but what you want to do is jungle, is you want to start in solo lane with your solo laner. And obviously, I don't have a solo laner for this video, but... I'll do my best to just get rid of these guys as much as I can. Um, you want to try and clear the wave as much as you can, while at the same time doing some poke damage to the enemy team. And what you see now is, technically that would have been an outpush. So outpush means, instead of going for their buffs or your buffs, you're going to come take fire minions. And the main reason is just so you can get the XP boost that these things give you, and I don't know, I just remember this is... They do a lot of damage to me. Um... Okay. Usually once you kill those, your solo laner is going to go back to his lane, they're going to do that, your mid laner is going to be done with the first wave. What I usually like to do is, if you don't go for mid harpies over here, you're going to go straight for blue. That way you can, um, God, Artemis is just destroying that because I put it on a thousand, hundred thousand gold. You're going to take blue buff as much, as fast as you can because your solo laner obviously needs the mana and it's really hard to play in a game where you don't have mana as a solo laner. But, like I said, if you outpush them uh, in the first start on the minions, you are for fires. But if you get outpushed, you want to drop back for your buffs. And obviously start at blue for your solo laner, and your mid should be done by then. That way you can, they can help you come get speed. And you can clear this a little bit faster than I am right now. Um, so with the new addition of Season 4, one of the relics got just nerfed into the ground. It is completely useless now. It's Hand of the Gods. Yeah, it'll help with these guys, the min uh, creeps, and it can stun if you upgrade it and all that jazz, but the cooldown's just so long that it's just more relevant to actually get a different active or different relic uh, as a jungler. They could still be useful in the future if they shorten the cooldown, but right now I don't see it as being very useful at all. Useful at all. Uh, so after buffs, you're probably going to head to mid camps. Uh, you're going to work on those doing mid camps, making sure that you and the mid laner are nice and ahead, and that you can actually fight the enemy. Um, what you want to make sure is that you really try to keep your deaths to a minimum early game. And yeah, it's just, it's really important just to... Try and farm, at least get to level 5 before you can get any deaths on the board. If you can get kills, that's amazing, but just be as careful as you can against the enemy. Um, so, your mid game, or your early game, after buffs really, is going to be a combination of going from... Well, it's just going to be a combination of chilling out in mid lane doing buffs, doing camps, like the mid camps, the back camps, um, helping out whatever lane needs it. But the main thing is, you want to stay in mid lane 
unless another lane is for sure you're gonna get a kill or you're gonna rotate to relieve pressure off of that lane like if this were a real game and that was happening to our left lane i would have been there a lot sooner and not done all the random stuff i just did because that is so annoying to have in a real game like i said you want to hang out in mid lane as long as you can because eventually like other lanes will be other lanes will be needing your help to either get them ahead or push the enemy back from right onto the towers right on the towers like if in solo lane an enemy is like right here in uh the lane you really want to be able to just path over and take them out if your solo laner is able to but jungling is honestly one of the most diverse roles you can have because you can play almost anybody in the jungle and i mean by almost anybody i literally mean almost anybody like it's so easy to just like pick up a god that you're good with hey avenger pick up a god that you're good with and be like hey i'm gonna take this dude in the jungle as long as you have decent pathing and decent movement speed at least early to mid game you'll be fine um moving into mid game you're going to be rotating a lot more than you would be in early game, especially around these. These are a, the oracles, I believe you call them, are just the biggest thing you need to be going for uh, in mid game because it's really important to have that ward vision over and make sure the other enemies, your enemies don't have it, especially because it is... They give so much experience and so much gold just from the two of them. I mean, occasionally you'll be able to also get the gold fury, but that's not important. Uh, team fight wise as a jungler, if you're a tanky jungler, you want to be the one initiating. If you're not a tanky jungler, if you're like an assassin that has no defense like I am, then all you're going to want to do is... What the heck is this Artemis doing? That was weird. Uh, all you're going to be wanting to do is, like, stay behind your front line. If you can sneak around into the back, maybe get a few hits off on one of their squishier people. Maybe kill them. That's what you want to do. But you want to try and stay alive throughout the fights because it's really important to have that damage dealer or have that frontliner in the fights with the rest of the team. Um, quick scenario. If you ever see the other enemy jungler by their self, by themselves, and you were by yourself, or you have a teammate who is able to path over extremely quickly and help you with them, don't pick the fight if you can. Because Season 4 is weird. It's been out for like a month. It's... It's... Re Weird is like the easiest way to describe it because it's so different from how Season 3 played. Um, honestly, after mid-game, one of the things you really want to be focusing on is, well, late game. If you get to late game as a jungler because sometimes your team will be doing really well or you'll pop off really early and the normal late game will be your mid game. So, during late game, you're going to be really just roaming around with a tank. If you're not roaming around with a tank, then you were probably screwed when it comes to fights. Because at this point, at the point of late game, everybody's focusing you. It doesn't matter. There's a support there that's just like, oh, dude, look, I caught their jungler out. The entire team will crash down on you and just take you down. They'll just crash on you. Like, there's no reason you should be by yourself when it comes to late game. Especially if you're like Loki, Thanatos, Kali. You don't have a lot of movement besides, like, one ability. And two out of three are those ults. Like, Thanatos ult to get you away, or Loki ult to get you away. Kali jump, Kali ult if you get too low and you need to survive. Your left Phoenix is under Don't attack. be afraid to burn your ults, because 
and a live fifth member is better than four people just like trying their best to defend against a full five-man team. Honestly, jungle is one of the hardest roles in this season, and I say hardest, but it, it is all a matter of opinion. I believe it is hardest because it's just not the easiest thing to do to rationalize, oh, if I rotate over to left lane, I'll get a kill, but if I rotate to right lane, they'll be safer. Don't you even feel a little bit bad? You know, like... Or if you just be like, hey, you know, like middle, mid safe, but if I go back to mid, I can probably get a kill instead of taking down one of these buffs. You really just have to rationalize whether or not that you, whether or not you want to rotate lanes to attack or defend. Obviously, item build paths aren't too difficult. Like I said, you usually, you always want to do Boombas, and you may want to get either bluestone or watchers and obviously after those after that second starter um, you want to be able to rush boots as fast as you can what I recommend doing is trying your best to make it so that you have the 1550 gold to get those boots the warrior tabi off the bat it just makes it a lot easier um, actually getting why is this doing this it makes it a lot easier actually getting uh, getting into mid-game if you have your boots. Combat is always dependent on your god. Like, a lot of gods that I bring into the jungle are Loki, Awilix, Neja. So they're big, like, one-shot gods. Like, you're going to be taking out a single person with them and not much more. If you're able to take out more, that's good on you. Like, good job, but... It's going to be like, oh, I'm going to ult in, kill Artemis, run away so no one else can hit me. And I'll usually end up with about uh, a quarter to half health left. Uh, that's why sometimes I you see me engage with stealth and ult. Uh, other times I'll probably just use aim strike and ult. It, it makes difference. It makes a big difference whether or not you can actually get out of a fight alive. Phoenix is under attack. But now... Just make sure you keep up with your rotations. When you're rotating out of mid lane, you really want to try and rotate with your mid laner. But the main part about jungle is literally just be the most annoying person you can. If you can stop a team from getting a tower, then your goal's accomplished. You don't have to worry about anything else. But that's about it, really. Well, that's all for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video.